As the community at the epicenter of Mexico's September 19th earthquake begins the clean-up work, for some the losses are measured in blood, sweat and tears. Juan Miguel Torres worked on the farms of the U.S. Northwest for years to save up enough money to build his home when he returned. Uno de México va, como te digo, As Mexicans, we go to the U.S. to work our tails off, to earn a bit more money, to build something at home. I worked in the fields picking apples, pears and grapes, so this is a desperate situation. Entonces, sí está bien desesperante la cosa. Following the 7.7 .7 magnitude tremor, the rooftop apartment he built with those savings is now too unstable to inhabit. He's sleeping on the hard floor of his brother's living room and he does not have enough money to rebuild. His wife Belen also feels the loss deeply. Everything has been destroyed in a tiny moment. Everything that I waited for while he was far away has gone in an instant. A rural town with high rates of U.S. migration, Belen may soon be alone again. We will have to see. If this means a return to the United States, then we'll have to see how we do it. For Belen's father, Ignacio, it's the sadness he sees all over town. The town is sad today, but there has been a lot of damage. But little by little, together, we will rebuild. Among the taxi drivers, there's even a hint of irony in a town that has suffered gang-related violence in recent years. These days, we are more used to gunfire than earthquakes. As the community at the epicenter of the earthquake recovers from the shock of this major quake, it is the community's spirit, the locals say, that will get them through this tragedy. Alastair Babastock, CGTN, Coalcoman, Mexico.